Hey rookies of Celtex or any other veterans of Celtex, and also other teams as well. This is a tutorial on XRC Simulator 2023 game and FRC's 2023 game in XRC called First Crescendo. Let's get started with the installation process. You'd first want to go to this website right here, xrcsimulator.org. I'll link this in the description of the video and also um, on my website as a resource. And once you have reached xrcsimulator.org, head to the Downloads tab. And depending on your uh, specific kind of device, uh, XRC can be installed on Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. Uh, do not worry about this one. This is just for servers with a graphics card. I won't worry about it. So Windows, Mac, and Linux. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using the Windows installation. So go ahead and click that. Once the XRC simulator uh, file has been done, click on it, and you'll be leaded to, or if you were to click on there, it might be different for Mac, who knows, but head into your downloads tab, click on the XRC uh, Win X64 or whatever version you have, click on the install button, and just wait for it to ins uh, install, and there you go, the window is showing that it's loading. Um, sometimes it will say that it's like Windows protected your PC, just ignore this. It's in, it's just fine. It's fine. Like it's okay to run. Like it's not a virus or anything. Um, but go ahead and uh, click the more info and run anyway. Click on the yes when it pops up. This will like setup language. So for my purposes, it'll be in English. But you have other options here for languages if you would, if you so please. Click on the OK tab. You can choose to create a desktop shortcut. I recommend it because it shows that XRC is there and you don't have to like search in your Windows bar like that. Click on Next. Click on Install. Wait for the program to extract the files. Read this if you would like, but for those purposes, we're just going to click Next. And now it will finish the XRC simulator. Um, installation process, and if you would like to save XRC for later, you can uncheck this box for launch the XRC simulator, or if you want to run it right on uh, the second it installs, you can click launch. And we are going to click next, and we are going to get this prompt again, and we're going to click finish. And the purposes of this is it will immediately run XRC simulator the second that it finished installing, or installing, I guess. I'm rolling on my words right here, I apologize. <coughs> As you can see here, it's at the bottom here. Click on it. It plays this nice little music for us. And congratulations, you fully installed XRC Simulator and are free to explore what it has to offer. I'm gonna now explain the controls for Crescendo on keyboard, and then I'm gonna explain on controller. So your W, A, S, and D are gonna be your movement options. When I, you see when I move here, it slants slightly to the left. This is because I have control of a game piece right now. Um, J and L on your keyboard is going to be your movement of right and left. Or right and left, yeah. T is ascending your climber to climb on the bar here. And G is to descend the climber to hook onto the chain. And for your shooting, it's a bit strange here, so it's a charging thing here. So I chart, uh, this button is I, so you would kind of hold it and then it would charge. For the intaking, you just run over a game piece. However, I would recommend suggesting running over the game piece a bit slowly instead of going like really fast like this, or else it will cause the uh, game piece to either jam or just get out of your um, kind of intake position. So I'd slowly go up to it. So as you can see, I'm holding down I, and you see that little yellow meter on mini drone here. And the second I release the I key, it will shoot the game piece. So again, for intaking, we will, I will actually go into the um, perspective tab here for intaking. So slowly ascend up to it, and bam, you have the game piece. Um, the button to change the perspective on the keyboard is um, the spacebar, so changing in between the driver's perspective. I wouldn't recommend using this because you kind of get a limitation, you can't really see the goal from here. But, so I'm going to drive up to it, and hold I, and shoot. For climbing, you would hold your T, you would hold your T button 
all the way up or to your desired height. Line up and hold down G to ascend your climber. And bam, you're off the floor and you're climbing and you are technically counted as on the stage. I will now run a full game um, in an example like this right here. So as you can see in that game that I basically did a couple cycles here and there, um, a thing that I would also like to note that the human player station all the way over here, it is um, touch activated so there are three little purple invisible rings there so if your robot comes into contact with them or mini drone comes into contact it will drop a ring for you for you to intake. Something to also, not something to also notify you that uh, XRC also has a little counter there to um, tell you how many uh, rings there are left in the station. Uh, the thing that you can also cannot do, you cannot go into uh, the other alliance's um, kind of um, source or human player loading station to grab any more rings if the game prevents you from doing that. Some notable, notable things that you can also see me doing in that um, gameplay video is also the fact that I was holding, so if I were to get my climber all the way down like that, that I could go under the stage like that. Or the kind of climbing area as I like to call it. So, as you can see, I was holding the bar as well. I could also go under the stage. Um, holding um, the charging bar, for example, like that, works. However, your fingers do need to be on the I key, holding the I key. Um, because if you were to do it, I will show you an example right here, going under the stage. If I were to charge it while I was going, and then accidentally let it go, the game piece would also let go as well. Uh, so you need to hold the I key while charging to have the intake um, keep the ring at the same time you charging it up um, before you get, uh, you get to there, so you can actually shoot it. Problem with um, going forward like this is you have a chance of getting caught like this. Uh, because there's a little flap at the top there. So I'm gonna restart my position here and get rid of this ring. Like this. Nice. I also like to go sideways like this, so my flap ha doesn't have a chance of like being stuck like as you see there. Going sideways like this, 
is way nicer than going forward and getting stuck like a chance. Uh, the research that a little bit of uh, searching I've conducted is that if you go forward a couple times under the stage, you might get caught. Whereas if you went sideways, for some reason, you don't get caught at all. I don't know if that's just me or maybe a couple other people as well, but hey, it's my thing. Uh, I will move on to controller uh, controls now. So for controller controls, I'm using a Xbox controller right now. Uh, you can connect uh, via a USB if your Xbox controller has a USB or a Bluetooth connection, uh, whatever works best for you. Uh, for controls, the uh, joystick to the far uh, left, my left hand side, controls the movement. The movement forward, back, forward, backward, left, and right. And the joystick closest to my right hand controls the left and right turning. For climbing, the D-pad um, upward, or the up D-pad, will initiate the ascension of the climber. Meanwhile, the downward D-pad, or the uh, D-pad down, will um, uh, descend the climber for you to climb just like so. For intaking, it's the same thing, just run over the um, uh, ring and aligning it. For charging it up, uh, it is the X button on your Xbox controller, like so. It may be different for um, PlayStation controllers. I haven't worked with them, so I can't really tell you um, or give you a reasonable explanation. However, there are a bunch of people in the XRC community that can help you um, in the Discord server if you would like, or you could just search up online. You have Google for a reason. <laughs> so the X button, holding the X button will charge it, and then releasing the X button on your Xbox controller will the game piece go and score it. Another robot I like to experiment is in this next video clip right here. For the next robot, go into the settings tab, the robots tab, and scroll all the way up until you see push bots and select push bot number three here. You can adjust the robot weight, you can do whatever. I just prefer my robot weight to be like that. And turn off adjusted braking. Uh, additionally, I would also like to point out that uh, my uh, controls for you can mess around with your controls in the joysticks tab or the um, keyboard pad, whatever works for you. You can mess around with the controls uh, to your desire. The joystick section here, uh, I will set it to my push bot um, testing here. So my left trigger and right trigger will uh, trigger the movements of the push bot. So I have my push bot here and having my intake all the way down like this and then pressing the button will actually hold up the little ring here and then you can actually push the ring into the little slot here releasing it and scoring a low score so you can you guys can experiment with whatever robots you guys want it is not really my decision to tell you what robots to use go out there go into the world experience the world of xrc and robots so that was a quick little demo uh, this robot can climb so ascending the arm all the way up and ascending all the way down i'm not going to tell you the controls of the push bot for this episode um this tutorial because i don't really want to put like a bunch of control like uh, things in this but experiment with whatever you want and hopefully if you guys want more tutorials like this i can post more out until again until then guys thanks so much for watching and have fun on xrc and to all teams good luck in crescendo